What's up guys, welcome back. I hope you're in the mood for some more comfort food because today I'll be showing you how to make this quick and easy chicken and dumplings recipe. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, we need to prep our veggies. Here we have a yellow onion, some carrots and celery. We're also gonna prep this roasted chicken. I just grabbed a rotisserie from the store for $5.99, but you can roast your own chicken if you wanna get crazy. In a Dutch oven, we're going in with two to three tablespoons of butter. To that, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of avocado oil. The butter is there for flavor and the avocado oil is there to help the butter not burn because it has a high smoke point. So to that melted butter and avocado oil, we're gonna go ahead and add in our mirepoix, which is the veggies that we just chopped up. We're gonna season that up with a little salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, or you can grab my AP seasoning, which is discounted for you in my description box. Go ahead and check that out. Get in there and give that a mix. We just wanna cook these down until the veggies get tender. It's gonna take about three to four minutes. Once we're almost nice and tender, we're going in with about a tablespoon of fresh garlic or garlic paste. You wanna stir that in once it starts to get fragrant. As always guys, the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. And next we're going in with some crushed red pepper flakes. I personally like to add a little bit of spice to the party, but it's totally up to you. You don't have to add those red pepper flakes if you don't want to. And now my friends, we're to kick the flavor up another notch by adding in one teaspoon of better than bouillon chicken base. You could also use veggie or garlic base here as well. You can find this product in the chicken broth aisle at most grocery stores. And now we're going in with a half cup of all purpose flour. We're gonna mix that in. This is gonna form a roux, which is gonna be the thickening agent for our soup. So we just wanna cook the raw flour taste off, which takes about two to three minutes. You just wanna give it a good mix until it forms like a paste-like consistency like you see here. After that, we're gonna slowly incorporate four to six cups of chicken broth or chicken stock. Just give it a good mix as you go. Now I say four to six cups because it depends on how you like your chicken and dumplings. If you like it a little thicker, you would go with four cups. If you want it more like a soup, you would add six cups. I like mine somewhere in the middle. So we're just gonna incorporate that chicken broth a little bit at a time. This recipe is absolutely packed with flavor, even though we're kind of taking some shortcuts here by buying the rotisserie chicken using store-bought chicken stock. If you want to go all out, you can make your stock from scratch and roast your own chicken, but today we're keeping it nice and simple. There's the rest of that chicken broth. We're going to bring this up to a boil and then reduce it down to a simmer. It'll start to thicken up. We're also going to add in some thyme and one bay leaf, because why the hell not? Now we're going in with that chicken that we diced up earlier. We're going to mix that in. You want to taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference as always. Also guys, all the specific measurements and ingredients are in the description box below. As you can see here, it's starting to thicken up. We're going to put the lid on it for about 15 minutes, come back and start seasoning into taste. Now I'm going in with some Italian seasoning, a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning, which again is a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. You could throw whatever seasoning you like in here. It really doesn't matter. It's totally customizable. And now we're going in with some heavy cream. You want to give that a mix. That's gonna make it nice and creamy and delicious. Oh man, it's nothing like a good bowl of chicken and dumplings on a cold winter day. I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. So we're gonna give it a taste as always, taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. While we let that simmer away, we're gonna get started on our dumplings. So in a mixing bowl, we're gonna add one and one third cup of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and to that, we're gonna add a little bit of diced parsley, two or three tablespoons just for a pop of color. Give that a good mix, and then we're gonna add in two thirds cup of whole milk, along with one to two tablespoons of melted butter. It's super simple dough, guys. You just wanna fold this in, add the milk slowly like you see me doing right here, and use your rubber spatula to fold everything together until a dough forms. Doesn't get much easier than this. One quick thing that I do wanna point out is that you don't wanna overwork the dough because you'll start to activate the gluten, which will make your dumplings tough, and that's not what we're going for. Other than that, this is about the easiest dough you'll ever make. So next, guys, I'm gonna grab an ice cream scooper to scoop this out with. I wanna oil it up a little bit with avocado oil to ensure my dumplings don't stick to the scooper. And you can make these any shape you want. I like ovals, but circles will work here as well. You don't wanna make them too big, though, because they do expand when they steam. So you don't want them to be too big. And this whole recipe comes together in less than an hour, guys. Super quick, super easy, big on flavor. It reheats really well, so it's perfect for a weeknight meal. You can have leftovers the next day. And this is what our dumplings are looking like before we add them. As you can see, our soup is simmering away. It's thickened up beautifully. You wanna scrape the bottom, make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom or sticking to the sides. You don't want anything to burn up in there. 
Now it's time to fish out that bay leaf and that sprig of thyme that we threw into the soup. Nobody wants to eat that. It's done its job. We've borrowed its flavor. There we go. And now, my friends, we're just going to lay those dumplings in. You want to leave this on like medium low, just a gentle simmer. And we're going to cover it with a lid for 15 to 20 minutes to allow those dumplings to cook. And then you're going to have yourselves a delicious dinner or lunch, whatever floats your boat. As you can see, the dumplings have doubled in size and they're cooked through. Oh, man. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. I'm about ready to plate this up. Get yourselves a trademark money shot. You know we got to go down with a little fresh chopped parsley for a pop of color. I got three dumplings in this big bowl. It really doesn't get much better than this. This is comfort food at its best. Going in for a little taste test. Got to get a little bit of dumpling, some chicken. Looks a little too hot to taste, but what the hell. And this recipe is absolutely money, guys. Definitely a spoon drop. Give this one a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give your boy a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.